In this video, we will study about converse, inverse, contrapositive, and biconditional statements of a conditional statement. So you will be given a conditional statement, then we will analyze what will be the converse of this statement, inverse of this statement, contrapositive, and biconditionals. So let's understand. So conditional means we have a hypothesis, and then we have a conclusion. So this hypothesis implies conclusion. So these are statements in themselves. So if this statement is there, it implies that Q will also be true. So if P is true, Q is true. If P is false, Q can be true or false. So that is the conditional. And uh, the converse, here you just flip the hypothesis and conclusion. So Q becomes the hypothesis. So Q implies P. P and uh, inverse will be you keep the ordering same the hypothesis and conclusion P implies Q you just negate them so not P implies not Q and then we have contrapositive where you uh, take the negation of this converse thing so not Q implies not P and these conditional and contrapositive are equivalent. And we will see truth table of that. So let's see. So what is conditional? Conditional is P implies Q. And let me write the all possible values of P and Q. So if this can be true, 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 false, 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 and false, true. These are the four possible values. And uh, this is true when both are true. This is true, this is false, this is false. False, false, it's true. False, true, it's true. So uh, when it's true, it has to be true. But when it's false, it can be true or false, both. So this is the truth table for this conditional. P implies Q. Now let's write not Q implies not P. This was the contrapositive not Q implies not Q. So what is uh, not Q? So let us write not Q and not P here. So this will be uh, false, false. We are just negating these P and Q. Then P is true, so this becomes false. This is false, so it becomes true. Uh, true, false. And this is true, true. So here we are saying not Q implies not P. So whenever this is true, this has to be true. So this is false. And when this is true, this is true. So this is true. When this is false, it can be true or false. Both are valid. So true, true. Now you compare these two. True, true, false, false, true, 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 true. So everything matches. So this contrapositive statement is same as this original uh, conditional statement and we will see more practical examples of that in uh, terms of English language and these inverse and converses are also similar they represent the same uh, statement you can verify it and then let's look at biconditional statements so here P implies Q and in the converse Q implies P but in biconditional this will be uh, in both directions so P and Q. You see double-ended arrow. This means P implies Q and Q implies P. It's also read as if and only if. And it's also abbreviated as I double F. And we will see how to convert uh, these statements into some English language or vice versa. So for this we had already seen. Uh, we will write if here and then whatever is this sentence, this sentence can be uh, I work hard. So you will add if I work hard or let me write a generic case. You will write if P and for this arrow we will write then. So if and then are added in place of this arrow and then Q is added. So this is the way to convert it to English and if we are to convert it back we will get rid of if we will get rid of then and in place of then we will add this.
So this is for that. And uh, this P implies Q does not mean that Q will also imply P. And we have also said these are not equivalent. You can draw a truth table also. But uh, we can prove it. Uh, we can see some examples in some real life examples as well. Then it will be more intuitive to you. So it would be a good exercise to write the truth table of all of these and see uh, what is equal to what. So let's see some of the more practical examples. Let's say we are given an English sentence. If I study, then I will get good grade. So you see two uh, statements are being combined here. First statement is I study. So this is P. And then I will get a good grade. This is another statement. This is Q. So you can see here if and then are coming. So this is then if. So it can be written as P implies Q. So this is the original conditional statement that is given here. So what will be the converse of this? It should be Q implies P. So which is if I get a good grade. So what is this? If I get a good grade. So this is Q. Then I studied. So I'm just making it grammatically correct, this sentence. So if I got, got here, if I got a good grade, then I studied. So here, this statement is true, this conditional statement. If I study, then I will get a good grade. But if you look at this statement, which is Q implies P, the converse statement, if I got a good grade, then I studied. This may not be true. Maybe that the exam paper was too easy. Nobody uh, got a bad grade. Everybody got good grade. And maybe uh, I am very intelligent so that I even even if I don't study, I get a good grade. So if this is true, this does not mean that this converse will also be true. Now, what will be the inverse of this? It will be not P implies not Q, which will be if I do not study. So if I don't study, then I will not get a good grade. Again, these two look very similar. This may not be true. If I don't study, still I may get a good grade. Maybe the paper is super easy or I am too intelligent. So these two look equivalent. Now let's look at the contrapositive. That is not Q implies not P. So not Q, I, I, if I did not get a good grade, if I didn't get a good grade, then I did not study. So in general, if you look at this sentence alone, it may not be true, but given that this sentence is true, this first conditional, this uh, says that if I study, then I will get a good grade. And here it's saying, if I didn't get a good grade, then I did not study. So if this statement is true, then this will also be true. And we had seen on the truth table of these two, but here also uh, in this English language, you can see that if this makes sense, then this will also make sense. But these two may not be true given this. Let's look at some more example. So if two lines form right angle, then they are perpendicular. So this is P, this is Q. Two lines form right angle, right angle means 90 degree. So this is line one and this is line two. They form right angle, that is they are intersecting at 90 degree. Then they are perpendicular. So when uh, this uh, they are making 90 degree to each other, then we say that the lines are per perpendicular. In fact, uh, this seems to be the kind of definition of perpendicular. And if you see the other way, if two lines are perpendicular, so this is P implies Q, this is true. And now let's write Q implies P. That is, if two lines are perpendicular, it's sort, in sort it's written like this, then they form right angle. This, is, this will also be always true. If two lines are perpendicular, 
uh, that means they are making 90 degree with each other then they form right angle that is 90 degree so both ways it's true so p implies q and q implies p so it's a biconditional statement and we can write it as this now that we know this is a biconditional statement how can we change this normal statement which looks like a conditional statement which is of the form p implies q because we have a if and we have a then how can we convert it to a biconditional statement so the trick is that you uh, get rid of this if so you write two lines form right angle and you replace this then with if and only if so you can convert this sentence to two lines form right angle if and only if so we have added this in place of them the if and only if they are perpendicular so this is the new sentence so earlier was if two lines form right angle then they are perpendicular and we have written it as two lines form right angle if and only if they are perpendicular once we know that this is a biconditional statement we can write it like this and here the simple trick is to replace this if and only if with this if you want to write it in this form and this is the p and q they remain as it is 